All right, hi everyone. So as you know, we're doing a lab today. It's gonna to involve this cut. And by this point, you should realize that we're gonna be trying to measure the force exerted on this spring that causes the spring to change length. And that'll allow us to get the spring constant to the spring inside this cut. So we're using these four sensors. We need to use a program called Pasco Capstone. All right, so you should have Pasco Capstone by now. One person in the group should have it downloaded. It takes a few minutes to download. Once you download it though, it looks, um, this is what the icon looks like. It should be on your desktop. Open it up and you should see, let's see how it looks. Open it up and you see this page come up. All right, close that off. You're gonna select this display, top left where you have a graph and table next to it. All right, you could change this area here, maximize your graph, you could drag down your graph here. All right, now, once you connect your force probe to your computer via USB, you can select measurement on the Y axis and choose force. Time should pop up on the X axis and you're ready to go. All right. Now, what we want to measure is we want to measure the amount of force required to compress this by five different compressions. I'm going to go in centimeters. So I'm using my ruler. I'm going to put this upside down against my ruler and try to hold it steady so that it doesn't slide along the ruler and push this in one centimeter at a time. Now, this is going to give me the force versus time. I'm going to try to hold it at each reading and hold it steady so that I get a constant or a plateau on my force graph, All right? Let's see if I can get it here. So you hit record. When you hit record, just make sure to press zero on the sensor. There's a zero button, press that, all right? Zero, good. And so here we go. Look at the graph. This is one centimeter. This is two centimeters. This is three centimeters. Trying to get it steady. This is four centimeters. And five centimeters. All right. So let's stop there and see what it looks like. All right. So I have what looks kind of like a plateau here, 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 and here, all right? Depending on how well you do it, how steady you hold it, you should be able to get some definite plateaus for each displacement, all right? Now, to figure out what that is, you could try to read it directly off of the graph, or you can use the technology, use the program. Go to this icon at the top, you can see this, one, two, three, fourth icon from the left on top. Um, it looks like a pencil or something with three points connected by a line. Click on that and it gives you this area which you can resize and put over an area of the graph of interest. All right. And then you go to the icon right next to the summation sign. <clears throat> Hit that and it should select mean. All right. And it should give you a mean value. So right now you see my mean is 4.3. For when I had my compression of of one centimeter between 4.3 and 3.8, depending on where I select, looks like it's about 3.8. Okay, 3.8. I bring it over here, get a nice section, and it gets 5.5. Bring it up here. My mean here is like 6.9. Over here it's like 8.8, and up here it's like 10.1. <clears throat> and there you go. You got your five values of force for one, two, three, four, and five centimeters, respectively. You drop that in a spreadsheet, plot your graph, and figure out how to get key. All right? Should be good from there.